Hello there folks and welcome to this video tutorial on how to fix the Seagate firmware bug which is on some Seagate Barracuda drives. Mine's a 72.11 with firmware version SD15. Basically what it is, is you turn your computer on and then you look in your BIOS and your hard drive has completely disappeared and it will not be detected. Um, I looked this up on the internet uh, I've not figured this out by myself, so I won't take all the credit for this. But I just thought I'd do a video tutorial uh, on how it's done. There are lots on YouTube. Like I say, I'm not taking all the credit for it. But I'm going to do my own step-by-step -step video tutorial. Okay, that's enough of me rattling on, so I'll show you what needs to be done. So the obvious thing we need is the faulty drive. And there's mine there. All you have to do is take it out of your computer um, and then you have to remove this circuit board from the back here. It's got um, little Torx T6 screws, dead easy to come off and don't worry nothing will fly out, no springs or clips, so you're completely safe. You take that off and then when you, once you take it off there's a little bit of card you've probably seen here. All you have to do is get a bit of card or old credit card cutting off and then behind this board here is like a little connection make sure that card is on top of that and then put the circuit board back on screw it back on best you can and the other thing you'll need is a spare power supply you can use your own in your own computer but this just saves a lot of messing about with unplugging things if you've got one spare stick it on your desktop and then jump start it's really easy to do if you look at the main connector here it goes and would normally go into your motherboard all you have to do is get a bit of wire or a paper clip and plug it into the end there it goes to the green one there's always a green one this side with a clip and into then the other side will go into any black ground wire and then when you turn the power supply on, that will act, it will think it's plugged into a motherboard and it will boot up, it will power up. Okay, so it's really handy if you've got your little power supply there. And then you just plug it into your faulty hard drive there. And then we're pretty much ready to go. And the other thing you will need is a Nokia C842 cable. Once you get the cable, you have to cut the end off, which goes to the phone. So cut that off and strip back the wires. But when you strip back the wires, you're going to be left with little bare ends and the very fine wires. So you can buy little clips that will go on the ends and then plug into the jumper ports at the back of the drive there. But I found it way too fiddly, so what I did is broke down an old firewire lead and joined the wires up that's what these red bands are here, heat shrinks holding them together or you could get inside an old PC case and get those wires there which go to the pins on your motherboard like little square pins little blocks that will go over those terminals there much easier to do and they're not going to drop off then what you need to do is get two 1.5 volt batteries which will act as the phone's power and out of the leads the red one will go to the positive on the two joint batteries and the yellow one goes to the negative of the battery and at the back here you can actually see those fire wire leads going in the back there um, the blue one is let me get my paperwork the blue one is RX, the white one is TX and the black one is ground and you can see the middle white one I've put um, some heat shrink on the middle on that so the connections don't touch because they are very very close if you wire it up like this it will work I've tried other ways which other people have told me um, and it didn't work one last thing before I actually get onto the computer and show you all the code that you have to put in to reprogram the drive. This is the other end of the CA42 cable. 
what you're supposed to do originally is break it down and look at the circuit board inside so you can see the RX, TX and ground connections but this one won't break apart so that's why I had to go on YouTube because if you try to break that down you're going to damage the circuit board inside so okay I'm going to go to the computer now and show you how to uh, reprogram the drive okay so I'm at a Windows XP computer here now I've just turned on the power supply to boot the drive up um, you'll hear the drive boot up and then it will spin down again once it's spin down what you have to do then is plug in the cable to a USB port which I'm going to do now once you've done that you've got to find out what COM port the actual cable is on or the hard drive is on so right click the computer my computer go to properties go to hardware device manager then you'll see modems there mine's a CA42 USB modem uh, right click go to properties then in this window click modem and check the port mine's COM4 click OK shut down OK now we need to load hyper terminal start all programs accessories communications hyper terminal when you first load it you might not see this screen you'll see a screen where you have to put in your area code so do that and come back out of it again and then you'll get this screen okay so when this screen comes on put in anything you like for the name and then click on OK and then it's at the bottom here where it says connect using change that to COM4 or whatever your COM port was click on OK then this other window appears bits per second set that to 38400 data bits set to 8 parity set to none stop bits 1 and flow control set that to none apply ok now we're in hyper terminal first thing we need to do is press control and Z you've got the F3T prompt then type forward slash 2 hit return and then very importantly it must be a capital Z now so press caps lock Z hit return and it says spin down complete and the time it took now what you have to do is remove the card from the hard drive which I'm going to do now okay once you've removed the card and tightened up all the screws again on the circuit board back in hyper terminal type capital U hit return and the drive will spin up again you will hear it spinning up and it tells you the time how long it took now type forward slash and press enter you get the prompt again now type capital F comma comma 22 and press enter and it says drive configuration restored to default and you get the prompt now type forward slash 1 hit return now type capital N1 hit return you might hear a funny noise come from the drive then when you do that bit now type forward slash hit return and the last bit is the longest bit of code which is small m zero comma two comma two comma zero comma zero zero whoops zero comma zero four zeros comma twenty two and hit return wait a while and you, you should see a load of crazy text appear at the bottom there's the first bit of it there wait a little bit longer and it should add some more and there we go uh, you can read that <laughs> if, if you do see that screen basically you've done it and the drive should now work okay folks thanks for watching this video and I hope you can fix your drive with this with this method thanks bye bye